Hey everybody, how's it going? How is it going? Guys, I'm looking at a flag with over a million troops in it with a Lohar primary. Oh my god. Holy wow. Holy wow. I just took one. 3,000 dead for me, 67,000 for them, 4,000, 66,000, 5,000, 87,000, 4,000, 36,000, 4,000, 63,000, 10,000, 44,000. GG, GG, G. What else we got? Oh, that other one's got Yadviga. Yikes. I'm completely unsurprised by that. Fully, I'm fully unsurprised by that. Ah, baby! What's up, man? Alright, where's the action? Dude, I just wrecked some people. I mean, I just swarmed a flag with 1.2 million troops in at Lohar Primary. So for those of you just tuning in, here's what happened. Last night, we launched rallies on all six flags that we that were touching us simultaneously. As one last, hey, we're leaving the zone, but here's something to remember us by. And then we left the zone. 
So we purposely left the zone because there's, there's, there is no way we were going to take 556 five, and 846 at the same time. Just stop it. Just stop it. Okay? Right? Just come on. So we, we pieced out of the zone. But we still have all this land that they haven't burned yet because, I mean, it takes time. So now we're just wreaking absolute havoc over here. <laughs> just roll on up and swarm some troops and go somewhere else and roll on up and swarm some troops. Hey, Sean, did you... Oh. Hey, Sean, did you scout the southern flag? I see it's not burning, so I assume there's stuff in it. Uh, there's three flags next to you, the, the southernmost one. Herman Kusunoki. That sounds swarmable. Ah. We, we could rally it. Yeah, I just need some people to port over. Um. Oh yeah, please clear these barbs. Oh my god. What in the world is this <laughs> Caesar primary running around? What? It's so slow. It's the slowest march on the earth. Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the, yeah, of course. I'm 0% surprised. Yeah, of course he did. Of course he did. Yeah, big talk. <laughs> um. It is very tempting, isn't it? G give me a second. Yeah. Two mills a lot to swarm into, but... No, I don't think it'll stay that way if we rally it, do you? Is it all archers? Are we ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost targeted it. I'm scouting it one last time. Nope, it's Zeno. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up, everybody. <laughs> Aren't we glad I scouted? Yeah. Do you see this guy bringing his troops out? Kika? Yeah, was, was he any good? Yeah? I mean, I'm just walking up here and he's going home. This flag has a Xeno in it with 1.2, which I also don't want to swarm.
Yeah, he, he definitely doesn't want to fight. Ooh, a baguette is here. The Chiss Baguette. I have for them this flower. Phoenix, hey, cheers. Thank you for the super chat. Does this mean they fell out of Imperium with us? I don't know that they have. I don't know that it's even possible. Also. This guy you wasted his teleport just to make puke emojis. Um, also, like, oh, would you like us to not kill the farming units that are here? Do you want us to just let them free farm? It was, is that your proposal in a war zone that we just let them free farm? Is that your proposal that we just let them run around however they want? Is that your strategic mastery proposal? Dude, I, I do the trolls are super dumb these days. Trolls used to, they used to be able to really say something, you know? It had any amount of intelligence behind it. Anyways. Whatever. Whatever. I'm used to higher caliber trolling. Here, let me just roll out the red carpet farm away. Have the zone. We actually did leave this zone, so. We just came back as a little reminder. You know. Just a, a friendly reminder that, um, let's see here. Just a friendly reminder that if you get lazy, I'm going to swarm your Lohar Kusunoki. Okay, just a friendly reminder that if you get lazy, I'm swarming your Lohar Kusunoki. That's going to happen. So now what, though? Oh, this is boring. No way. Oh yeah, that's this is a GG for that march. Dee 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 dee. dee. <laughs> okay. But I suppose the trolls of the chat would like us to just let them walk around our territory. I suppose the trolls of the chat. Look at this guy. The trolls of the chat would like us to just let them walk around wherever they please, because shouldn't we? It's funny. They make fun of us for cheeseburgering and then they do the same thing. And I think it's reasonable, but they're the ones making fun of it. Right? Like, anyways. All right, now, um, let's actually send a notification that we are live and streaming. Let's just get a little, little notification out. By the way, no one from their kingdom accepted my challenge to... Uh, the greatest warrior from each kingdom battling against each other and surrendering the zone. No one accepted the challenge. What, what kind of douchebaggery is this? I don't know. Just, I wonder how this will go. Good for me or bad for me? Oh, it's on their territory, so that's probably not good. Yeah, I don't need to stay around for that. He skill cycles and I peace out. Yeah, it's not that's not a trade I wanna do. You're disappointed in, in seventy five? Well you're now hidden from the channel forever. Thanks for playing. 
Thanks for playing. See you never. in the official discord what do you want to hit that Attila with to just hard counter it his like it doesn't look like there's a good way to do that if you cheeseburger with it you know what I mean uh, that didn't work actually it doesn't work There's no way they have better tech than me. Not a chance. Oh, Pakal Herald is what you use for that? I could see that. Now that these guys have wasted their teleports, we should just go somewhere else. We have no obligation, whereas they do. Exactly. We can just go wherever we want. Hundred percent, we can go wherever we want. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I mean we can fix that. <laughs> that guy who was cheeseburgering hit my city and had 13,000 of his troops die. Get wrecked. Oh, my God. Pro plays. Cheeseburger this. Was it worth it to drop those emojis outside my city? But was it worth it? Oh, my God. Was it worth it? I'm just max cheeseburgering this guy outside my city now. Dude, it, it, it's the most, it's like that, the most annoying sound in the world. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? It's this. Let's do this over and over. And, oh, I don't know, man. They think they're trading positive. Are they? No, 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 no. So... Okay, I just keep doing it. They don't care about trading positive? Are you insane? How could you not care about trading positive? It always matters. You're right. It does not actually always matter. That Abe talking about heart. Let's go. I 
think they're chasing back to my city. I'm gonna have to look at my hospital in a second. I think they're mad. I, they're playing mad. These guys are definitely playing mad. I gotta, I gotta check my hospital. I gotta be careful not to have deads there. Oh yeah, they did some damage. It was good. It was good time to go back and be like, hospital check, hospital check. You get like a half hospital battling against this kind of stuff in no time. I feel like we kind of wrecked on those trades though, right? Had to have. I mean, the role of Trajan is to buff all your other marches for really good trades. That's what Trajan's there to do. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you hit my city again. <laughs> oh, my God. Are they rallying me or are they just going to let me do this? They're just, they're just going to let me do this? All right. All right. All right, man. They're just, they're just gonna let me do this. Which march do I target? What's my kill count at? Uh, okay. The baguette has struck my city. I mean, all these marches here means they're not doing something actually important. So I feel like I'm winning the exchange for my allies, who, this seems like a good time, to point out that during, I guess this is the downtime of our allies over here, they're starting to build into the zone. So it's going to get spicy. It's going to get real spicy. That's for sure. I mean, it's like... 2, 1 or 2 a.m. for our allies here. God, single rallies. I miss single rallies. I miss single rallies so much. I miss single rallies. They were so easy. Which march is most cheeseburgerable? I don't know. Do I even care? Open my hall of heroes? Sure. Oh my god. Remember, I didn't port next to their city and start dropping emojis. Or did I? <laughs> or did I? I might have dropped a flower emoji, come to think of it. The thing is that they don't know when I'm going to pop out, but I know when I'm going to pop out. Mm -hmm. 
Probably should have stayed for a skill cycle there, actually. All right, let's see where else there's action. No? Nothing? All quiet? All quiet? So quiet. Justin, thank you for the super sticker. Much appreciated. Let's go. Oh, my God. The Dojimoto number one. Hey, look. We're going to be caged. And we kind of expected this would be the case. Um, We, we knew we'd be in this position. Okay. Where to go? Oh man, I kind of want to go down here. I mean, these guys complain about cheeseburgering and then proceed to random port a bunch of cities in over here. I think it's a good tactic, but I'm see, I'm not the one complaining. Is this city zone? Getting zero today, cheesy pants? Probably not. Well, who knows? over here map med pairings uh -oh. they're not gonna rally me man they're they're not gonna rally me they haven't rallied me all kvk i've been off territory Oh yeah, that city's already zeroed. Okay. They're already zeroed. Change city skin? Why? Skill damage. I do a lot of skill damage. Just wait a while would be my answer. Uh, yeah, that is true, actually. I think you'd have to do a coalition removal to fix that, right? Correct.
Word Eddie Chad, thank you for the super chat. Love no delay, great constant. We'll rewatch tonight, got football stuff today. Hey, cheers, man. Thank you, appreciate the message. And thank you for the super. Cheeseburger. See, they're all back in their city. Ooh. Oh, this flag is going to get racked. Do I just go here? Oh, that's, that's really not a teleport spot. Really? That little smidge over there is blocking it? Weird. Oh my god. <laughs> Barb! Man, look at how much these spots all filled up. We had this land so good. Burned. Um, I guess I'll look uh, to see what you target next. This area looks fun. <laughs> I poured it over and that guy turned around. He was like, nope. Nope. How many players are they gonna group up before they actually wanna fight? I guess I I guess I'd do the same thing. Oh, they got all kinds of marches running around. Where do they get these even come from? Right below me. I mean, I'm not going to fight twice as many marches. I'm not an idiot. I'm, I'm not going to fight twice as many marches. I'm not stupid. But I will bait them toward my city, which hopefully they will hit. Flower. Flower, though. I can has flower. They're trying to they're trying to convince me that there's no troops. I don't think I won't swarm a flag, man. Look at, look at this. You know the thing that they don't understand about Alexander the Great is that his skill's not gonna work in the resource node. They know that, right? Probably not. Maybe they do.
Hey, Monkey D. Joe, thank you for the super chat. SW Sean is a monster. Way better than Ruz. He is a monster. To be honest, he's a beast. The reports he's producing are just stupid, man. That's crazy. I can't ambush the one march without getting the 20 to hit me, so... It's interesting. I mean, they want to have twice as many marches babysit me. That's actually probably a trade in their favor. I'm pretty disruptive if I'm allowed to just go wild. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty disruptive. Unchecked, there's a lot of damage I can deal. So that might actually be a good trade for them. Frankly. Let's go see what else we do. They're boring here. Hey, thank you for the super chat. Isaiah Garcia. Zoro97 here. Long live 1075. Hey, cheers. Thank you. Hey, learn my gamer tag. Heads up. You got a rally on you. Uh, could someone tag them? Learn my gamer tag? I think they're in here. But I just don't have time to actually look and see if they're in the voice chat with us. Oh, okay, great. Great. Oh, double. It's a double. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely going to be interesting to see 474 fighting against 846. TR is also working on 664 right now. How about that? So 254 is fighting 664 and 93 and 556 at the same time? Cool. What were you saying, Abe? It cut out. Okay.
Is that Krex? What's up, dude? What up? Okay, well that's awkward. Game crashed. Would have been really awkward if I was field fighting. It's only slightly awkward that I'm off territory. I, w I log back in and they're like swarming my city or something. That'd be spicy. They don't have the stones and it'd be dumb of them. Who's winning so far? <laughs> hard to say. It's very hard to say. What do we got? Do they think I went AFK? Because I'm never AFK. That's the thing. I'm never AFK. Ah, they Xenoed it. The thing is that I never am AFK, actually. Oh, see, neither are they, though. And they might be baiting me into that flag still. Like, they may have the Xeno Captain, but a bunch of marches there. That's what I would do. That would be the slickest play. I think that's what they're doing, so I'm not going to fall for the bait. I think that's that's how I would do it. Put a Xeno on top. Oh, the fact that he's running, though, is fairly promising. This guy I don't recognize. Hmm. Well, the Are You Paying Attention check is now activated. Oh, uh, yep, they're paying attention. Really? They're just gonna let me walk up. Why? Are they baiting me? What are they doing? Oh. MR's not in coalition. Better not teleport. I am, like, all over the place now. What a random teleport, man. Holy cow. Scout swarm that flag? No, thank you. How many deads? About 8 million T5. Um, yeah. Oh, this happened yesterday. Someone accidentally swore my city. Oh, it's a little bit of a ripperoo. A little bit of a ripperoo. Um, cool. Where's Tickle Fist? Good question. Let's see if I'm getting rallied first. No, nobody rallied me while I was disconnected. Okay. Tickle Fist is somewhere over here. He's somewhere in this mess. On with some of this TR front. Presumably. He's somewhere in the mess. Probably by the front. Some good field fighting going on over here. Woo! That's Cam, the general. The general. I wonder where 254 is field fighting right now. That's interesting. This player's name is like nothing. You see what they did there? Very interesting how they did that. I didn't know you could do that. You say 556 five, being overrun by TR? Where? Did you show me that? I mean, I think that was exactly what the point was. 
was to get to this position. Hey, who do we need to tag to get the coalitions fixed? Okay, where do we go, chat? What do we do? Go down here and mess with stuff. It'd be kind of interesting to do. Could also go over here and mess with stuff. Maybe. Could have been worse. That's when Gamertag got rallied. I guess they canceled pretty quickly. I mean, yeah, Nugget, I see that. Let me go unpin a chat real quick. All right, that should fix that. I also just reread it and there's really nothing to see. But let's just fix that going forward. Now you can see my alliance chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, the top secret information. How's everything down there, Nugget? How much do I mess with this guy? Dude, with the right presets, you can be really annoying. Oh, baby. What? is this please be a full march oh my god thanks for all the fish gg Oh my god. 66,000, 8,000, 15,000, 9,000, 30,000. Lol. 
What? Oh my god, is this for real? I wonder if they'll swarm this now that I'm in it. Probably, probably not, but. Oh yeah, they're just walking away. I think I'm actually in a weaker position being over here. In the fort. The surprise fort is probably not all that surprising. One trooping my city. Yep. Oh, I'm way too slow for this. <laughs> I still procked him. Oh my god, so annoying. Procked him. <laughs> All they can do is just drop emojis. Uh, uh, procked him. <laughs> oh god, it's so annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's like, at this. It is March! <laughs> Oh my god. I read chat, man. It's just I'm fighting right now. I'm just saying hello. Ooh, that's that's probably a decent march. Yeah, it's not the best target. Really? Come all the way in? At some point he probably should just pop in the node and stop letting me do that. Ooh, Pakal, I don't wanna mess with that. Oh, thank you. Alright, I'm bored. These guys are boring. Where am I going? Is there anything we should be doing now? I mean, us holding them here is... Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'm just kind of looking over there and I'm like, what are these guys up to? What are, what are our friends in 556 doing right now? Oh, yeah, that fort's not burning. If only all the wolf territory wasn't disconnected. What in the world? Yo, we got to take that RCF back, my friends. Also, all the NL territory is disconnected because of that move. We gotta do the thing now. Actually fix all this right now. MR territory.
Uh, hold on. Oh, the MR territory is disconnected, not because of the RCF. My bad. It's it's because um, they lost the pass flags. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, I understand what happened now. That's all fine. But those MR flags were how we were fighting at the Southern Pass, which is inconvenient. Northern Pass, anybody? <laughs> Northern Pass, anybody? I'm surprised the 556 five, people are at the Southern Pass, given that all that land is disconnected. I wonder if they just haven't figured that out yet. Probably haven't figured it out. So to help everybody out with what just happened, because these flags are now burned, the forts that are over here are no longer connected to all this territory. This is all... This is a part of our zone departure. This is kind of expected. All right. Why would we get out of the zone? Because there's no way we're taking 556 five, and 846 at the same time. Just stop it. Just stop it. We're not fighting them at the same time. Ooh, City Rally. Oh, wait a minute. What are you doing on my land, bro? Just walking under my bridge. Thinks they can do that without paying my toll. Oh. Wants to pay the toll. Oh, please just walk by my city. I'm not going to do that, though. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that we're in a rush. But it does seem like a good thing to just get done. Yeah. Hey, Aiden Harris, thank you for the super chat. I'm about three weeks away from my first KVK. I'm City Hall 20 of T4 troops for KVK. Just spend money to get to City Hall 25? I mean... Should you spend money is a totally, a totally different question. So, let, let's answer two questions. First of all, hold on. Really? First of all, should you spend in Rise of Kingdoms? And I will say, although I'm not a financial advisor, I'll ask, like, have you saved for retirement? Do you have an emergency fund? Those sorts of questions, right? Go home. So assuming you are actually in a financial position where you could be spending... I don't know that there's a ton of value you get by getting to City Hall 25 before your first KVK. Like, you're still pretty far off from being a powerhouse account. You see what I mean? So, here's what I would say. If you're going to spend money, I think it should be during a recharge event. I think you should go for the things that are high value. So, for example, high value would be like the... 30-day gem supply, and I think you should load that up during a recharge event. We're about to have Thanksgiving, right? Yes. So there should be Thanksgiving events, like, really soon. So for the Thanksgiving events, just move in on that at that time if you're considering spending. Do the recharge rewards, get that, right? Retirement, bingo night. I mean, <laughs> there's so many jokes I could make about retirement because of this KVK. 
Oh my god. I think this guy's probably paying attention. Yeah, he's paying attention. Enough attention that he's not just gonna let me walk up and and six march him, right? Yeah, I don't know, he's not gonna let me do that. Look at 846, right, versus 474. Yeah, Black Friday and Cyber Monday bundles too. Yeah. I, I don't recall the value of those being insane. I'm really curious to see what a 474 uptime is going to look like. This is the middle of the night for them, you know? So hopefully I answered your question. Like, do I think it's so important that you push for your first KVK? No. But if you're going to be doing spending, time it with a recharge event. That, that's, I think, the big takeaway. Right? Like, if you want to time with something, I don't think you're timing it with your first KVK. You time it with when you get extra rewards. Because there's always something else to buy in Rise of Kingdoms, lol. <laughs> but it's true. You can never have too many troops. I mean... If I was on territory... Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. Let's just spin the wheel and if they... Let's crack the egg. And if they rally my city, I hope someone will tell me. Hey, you guys let me know if my city gets rallied. I'm not paying attention. Or swarmed. That'd be good to know, too. All right. Maybe they'll swarm me. That'd be kind of interesting, don't you think? I'll start the hospital just in case it happens. They could do it. It'd be savage, but they could do it. I mean, I've got a, I've got a wall set up, but, you know, my gear is on my other commanders. But my gear in, you know, my, my, like, seventh set of gear is on my YSS. So, I mean, it's not nothing. Hey, Disco Stew, how's it going? Chisco's going vegan? Probably never. Probably never. Oh my god, what are you doing? What? Oh, it's a full march. Go, 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 go. God, he's so fast. What troop type is that? Holy shit, man. He's so fast. Oh, Stop paying attention for two seconds and you miss a feast, bro. You miss the feast, bro. What's this guy doing? What's this guy doing? I think they've got marches in the flag that are going to jump out, but I could be wrong. If I'm not wrong, then this guy's screwed. Is he fast enough to get away? No, he's not. I mean, I have cover back here. Oh man, mistakes were made, my guy. Yeah, I'm gonna slow you, bro. You're getting six March murder balled. Oh, no. That's a rip. Yeah. Vomit emoji for your choices. Oh, man. And this guy stands no chance. <laughs> it started with an innocent attempt to get value with Pakal and ended in disaster. Yikes. I suppose the trolls would have liked me to have just let him walk by because I'm a chicken. I suppose the trolls would have just insisted that I just let him walk by because I'm a chicken. Anyways. <laughs> Wait, what is Chad even talking about? Just go quit and this is pre-recorded? Dude, yes, I've pre-recorded this. No, I have not pre-recorded this. You need to fight like a man. There it is. It's in the chat. There it is. There it is. We get to do a lecture about 
gender neutrality. Right? Now, not that I'm the person who's really qualified in any way to deliver that lecture. But wh what the crap, man? My fort disappeared. Okay, well, now I'm getting out of dodge. Now I'm actually getting out of dodge. As much as I want to take in prison rallies, I'd probably be fine. But, like, some warning before deleting a fort would be cool. Hey guys, maybe like a little, a little like something before you delete a fort would be a cool idea. We deleted a fort, somebody did. Had to be our five of MR. Yeah. I mean like, I feel like that was pretty uncool. No warning fort deletion. I think someone is talking, but they're, like, outrageously quiet. Really? Where's Cortex? All right, well. Okay. This gives me a good opportunity to go do uh, the egg event. And then when you guys figure out where we're hitting next, I'll pour it in, ideally without, with 100% less fort deletion while people are on the fort. was fun that was fun here we go this is from my restart 41 epics 28 legends now I zero the counter They actually could have legit imprisoned zero me there. That that would have been like that would have been a 10 out of 10 move. I think it would have been hard, but not that hard for them to pull off. That 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 right there was the time. That was it. That was that would that would be the way that you imprison zero me 100%. Because at that point I'm no better than random ported deep into their zone. Right? I'm really not much better than random ported into their zone and they would have ported in like, they totally could have they 100% with the right amount of attention I have War Frenzy totally could have zeroed me. 100%. 100%. That was very interesting. Now, do I have enough patterns to make this helmet? 27. But don't I have some pick ones? I guess I did all this yesterday and decided there was nothing else I needed. Where did I end up with that? Let's uh, hide this real quick. Let's just look at my equipment real quickly. I have a bunch of pick ones now. They don't have imprison, says Cortex. Well, that's good. It's because they wasted their imprison on Bunny. They wasted their imprison on Bunny. Missed opportunity to zero just cool. Missed opportunity, IMO. Actually, I think it was a real opportunity. It could be wrong, but that felt like a pretty real opportunity. I think I keep going for helmet pieces, man. 
right? I don't know what else I need is the problem. Helmet seems reasonable. There's two helmets I want to make. I have three infantry sets. I mean, I'd put one over here. Right? Replace a witch's lineage. Yeah, okay. I think I just keep doing infantry helmet. I think so. You want to see someone rage again? I think Helmet's a good choice. I mean, I already have a talented KVK Helmet, so... I mean, I'm in a pretty good spot there. Cav Boots? I wish, bro. It's just legs and helmets. And we went through this song and dance yesterday, right? Like, I don't think I'm talenting Greaves of the Eternal Empire. I don't think I need Dragon's Breath Tassets. I don't think so. Not anytime soon, anyways. No, nah, it's, I mean, it's low on my priority list. Even this is low on my priority list. Let's do this, shall we? Three. What do we get? Hey! I'll take an epic. I'll take an epic. Let's go. And let's show... <laughs> the leaderboard again. There we go. Oh, I'll definitely show the fighting. Yeah, 100%. And I'll probably do some crafting on my restart. Uh, yeah, I'm signed up for the PC beta test. That's right. Smash it. Looking for good stuff. Resources? I would have argued against, but I'm going to run out of <laughs> resources this KVK. Probably not, but, but, but... Field fighting gets expensive, man. When you aren't just pwning noobs, it gets expensive. GG easy, man. Five legends. There it is. What's up, Pakalgul? Pakul. Uh, hey, just cool. Do you think maxing Gilgamesh is worth it if you have Nebu maxed already? Gilga Nebu is a really good rally. Uh, will you be rallying is a different question entirely. And Cortex says he's loving Gilgamesh in the field. Maybe it's my content creator debuff that gets me targeted all the time, but I think he's just okay. When he gets targeted, he just gets wrecked. I know every March just gets wrecked when they get targeted, but Gilgamesh just seems to get targeted a lot, man. I don't know. He's got no getaway mechanism, so he just really gets wrecked. There's another Hell Legend. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's get some Abe luck up in here. You want to see some more chicken burgers? Yeah, the content creator debuff. You like that? I think it's pretty funny, too. Nine helmet patterns. Tiered rewards are all done. Now it's just purely for fun and value, which hopefully we'll get. And that is not the sort of value I'm really looking for. Three epics out of the deal. You know, you don't want to be like one pattern short, but I am now questioning. I mean, I'm... I'm, like, spinning for something I don't even really need. Like, do I keep going? Egg Event's generally very good. Cannibal Salsa, how's it going, dude? Egg Event's generally very good, but up to five epics. I don't know. Do I need to do this? If I don't need the pattern... Is it true that 254 has three archer rally leads with the absolute best in slot? Probably do. They probably do. Good god, man. Another legend. Lol. Do it for the people. We finished our arc three hours ago. We broke someone's... Six winning streak. Hey, congrats. Yeah, the, the content creator debuff. Like, everybody targets you. They see the name, and they're like, get them. Oh, God, that's bad. Do, but do I keep doing this? Because I don't know, chat. That... That's starting to feel pretty expensive to me. It's not that I don't need it. It's that I don't 
need it, right? Like, there's no urgent need for this. I do go through a lot of gems. One more time. One more time. Yeah, I don't think I need to keep doing this. Eight legends and five epics. I, some decent speed ups. For 2,400 gems, it's decent. But I think I just switch over to the restart, honestly. I think we just pump the brakes here for a second. We switch it up to the restart. In the meantime, we just do a little bit of gathering because obviously you need those resources. Right? Oh my god, it's an expanded march worth of uh, siege units going to the gold pit there. That's hilarious. Get these gatherers out. And then... We switch over. And we do some crafting over there. And some egg cracking over there. Let's see. Yes, here we go. Okay, let's roll. Rally a fort. K75 is not done for this KVK, but realistically, like, we, we are not going to have Zone 5 territory until we are either free to earn it again. Let's open this up. I don't know what pattern I would have been looking for there. And I also don't know, I guess Martel's what I want from gold keys. What would I do if I got zeroed? If I got zeroed, I would rebuild. I mean, at least I would get half my troops back, right? I mean, if we're honest, haven't I already lost like half my troops or more? Think about that for a second. Didn't I already lose half my troops? Like, I'm already halfway there, man. But I got a lot of troops still. Okay. And we're back. What am I making? Pretty sure I exactly crafted the boots last time. In fact, I probably had some excess, didn't I? Let's just get a look here. The gear situation. Really good here, right? Like, really good situation here. I moved over some gear to my leadership commander here. A little bit of a Shio's return. So what do I make next is the question. Hey, Devils, what's good? I'm doing all right. What do I make next is the question. I'm rocking these infantry shields, have been for a while. I'd like to get something other than the windswept bracers, I think. Yeah, we'll be accepting new migrants in 75, 100%. 100%. Let's get a look here. I'd kind of like to get a four-piece set bonus going. The 10% march speed would be pretty sick. And there's no major diminishing returns on attack outside of Season of Conquest. I get Season of Conquest is a little bit different. Seth's Brutality. I mean, I get 10% march speed when I get to that four-piece bonus, which is pretty decent. I guess the question is, do I need another pair of gloves? I could just go with Epic, right? Like, later on, Trajan will be using a lot of this gear.
Uh, where did I just go? Pretty sure this march was going here. I definitely want to drop some gems on this today. I mean, I, I'm going all the way to the top here. But I don't think boot patterns is what I need anymore. That's for sure. Go for a weapon or a glove. I feel like I can play craft the weapon. But should I pick up these gloves is kind of an interesting question. I also could, like, just go for chess piece, right? So going for chess piece would be a play for Hope Cloak. And Hope Cloak's good. There's really no way around that. Hope Cloak's great. Right? Like, how many Hope Cloaks can I make? One. I mean, I think it'd be nice to be able to make more than one. Don't you think? Granted, on this account, man, materials are always going to be a huge issue. I think what I should do is, until I had crit the boots, I had really thought I'd go for another two-piece bonus. I really did think I'd go for another two-piece bonus. Banana helmet or banana pants? Hey, yo. Time to fire up more farms. I could use more resources. I'll definitely show you more of the fight. We just gotta go and spend my gems over here. Sense brutality and just counting that feels like an easy answer. Almost like too easy of an answer. Will I work on like one better set of infantry gear? Right? Print the amulet? Um, what, the skill damage one? I, I don't think I want to mess with that. The most exciting KVK I participated in? That's probably the one I'm fighting in right now. Yeah, so for Trajan, I mean, I would just switch this gear over to Trajan. Right? So what I could do is instead of Windswept Bracers... I mean, I do really like the infantry set, though. Like, I would aspire to have a lot of the two-piece bonuses all over the place. I, I would kind of aspire to that. I'm tempted to just do gloves. Right? Just run it like this. I think this is what I do for now. I don't feel bad about this. Free crack. One epic. Dude, let's go. I just got a polite response to my amulet idea, which just was actually thinking, dude, what you thinking? <laughs> Man, you crazy? Amulet? <laughs> Look at this. Why can't I get value like this on my main? Too damn indecisive. Hey, measure twice, cut once. I may be somewhat indecisive, but I usually make decent choices. Tendon of Eternal Night, I would never forge that these days. No. 100% would not make. Five epics. And I'll do one more five spot here. And then maybe just chill. Because on this account, I really should be playing for tiered rewards. Like, I can't be going ham. This account, I just... I don't get... <laughs> I don't get... Like, you know, gems on gems. I have a lot of gems because I haven't spent them in a very long time. But now let's go make some things, shall we? What do I want to have for the pass opening, my next fight with this account? What do I feel like I need to have? This would be a good item to replace. It really would be. 
I do feel like the four-piece bonus for infantry would not be the worst. I also don't feel like it's the best upgrade either, though. Just counter off the screen, sorry. True, you've been my guide in the two years I've been playing. Cheers. Commander Tearless, uh, after this KVK, I feel like I can give the most accurate tier list possible. Right? How much money do I spend on Rock a day? I spend an average of probably two and a half grand a month. I'm looking at expertise Cleo. want to know if you get a level six node. How much extra resources do you get? It just goes up by 10, I think, resource packs. Maybe 20 resource packs. I think it's 20 resource packs for each node. So a level 5 is like 50 resource packs. And a level 6 node is like 70 resource packs, I think. That sounds right. My best infantry set is on Alex right now because I am going to use him in the field. And also he's defending my city wall. I spend $83 a day. That's kind of a decent chunk of change, isn't it? Can't go wrong with Hope Cloak. Yeah, that is generally true. That is generally very true. But if I'm going to get this four-piece set bonus going... If I am going to get this four-piece set bonus going... I mean... It's gotta be... Weapon, right? Because this is going to be Hope Cloak, and this I'm never going to change ever. Parox Humility, I am never changing ever. So, like, weapon would be would be decent for getting the ten percent. I think. Get that speed. I mean, how much health am I getting here? 10.5% health. Versus, if I make the weapon... Let's just get a look-see here. The old weapon. That's not the right weapon. God, what a disaster that would be. 20% attack? Don't think, just do it. You know, the whole premise of my channel is based on the fact that I put a lot of thought into these decisions. <laughs> In my ideal world, I would be making a couple of things here. And I don't think I should just wait until the Season of Conquest before I do any of this crafting, even though it's tempting. But I have two Conquest coins, man. I mean, I can get an infantry KVK helmet. I get two of them over the course of two KVKs. Like, I got stuff I can get here with these Conquest coins. Craft it, let future Chiskel worry about mistakes. Uh... Sorry, I have four coins, two, two turn-ins. Yeah, four coins, two turn-ins, right? You can get two items for that. And I didn't turn them in when I was in the Season of Conquest, because even if I did... I can't use the gear because I'm in KVK Season 2 right now. Awkward. So awkward. We're just going to make a stupid weapon. Do we just do it? I think we do. Are you ready? I think we just go for it. Are you ready? Completes the set anyways. 
close your eyes, you get more luck. GG, Fs, rep. Yeah, I mean, it's a slight rep. Vanquisher pop. I guess there's some upside. GG, it's still a good piece. I mean, we were just looking at the set. I think it's a good piece for the set that I'm making there. The 10% March speed on top is going to be a nice bonus. All right. Let's equip this sucker. Boom. So, the 10% March speed is going to be really helpful. And I should make a couple other things. I have some materials left. Do I have an accessory pattern? That would be cool to work with. I don't. I debated making a legendary accessory, but I just... I don't know. I debated these. Uh, well, oh. Is coin... Does this work outside of Season of Conquest? I wouldn't make... I, I, I wasn't debating coin, though. I... I was debating War Drums and Seth's Call as, like, something I could make. But I feel like I'm in a pretty decent spot with that set I'm working on. So when it comes to gloves, I could do Seth's Brutality, and I have a lot of chances to refine it, right? Coin is not the worst. Coin is definitely not the worst. So if I'm making a Seth's Brutality here, that would be for leadership, right? That gets my leadership gear in a slightly better spot. Coin is only SOC now, no kidding. Okay, so SCT Flasher, thank you for the super chat. How do I make my infantry do more damage? Fair ask. Um, so if you want to do more damage with your infantry, I think the thing you focus on is your pairings. I still feel like from an equipment standpoint, you want to move in the direction of more tanky gear and away from attack. In a lot of cases, for most commanders, for this particular set that I'm building right here, I did move in on some attack, but I also think that's a fine choice. Especially because the... Well, yeah, I, I think that's a fine choice. We'll be updating your series in the top four commander pairs for each troop type. Um, Yeah, I probably will... You know, it's funny. I do that for each unit type, but like for leadership, do I do a top four leadership pairs? I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's go um, talent this gear leadership real quick and see if we can get there. I sure hope we can. Dude, rip my gold is all I got to say about that. It's so much gold to like do anything. Okay, so we're going to quick forge... A Seth's Brutality. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Just in time. No. You want to push the blue button? Yeah? Okay, you want to push the blue button? Okie dokie. You got this. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Did you take a nap? Yes. Yes? Aren't you normally napping around this time? I just go again. You want to push the blue button again? <laughs> Come in. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. You want to push another button? You want to push the yellow button? Yeah. Good job. I 
push the blue button. Okay, you can push the blue button. Oh, okay, you push somewhere else. That's okay. Let's go put on that new piece of gear. Put that one. Yeah, we're gonna replace this one. Push the little red blue button. Good job. All right, you wanna push the little green button? Yeah, there you go. Little green plus. Good job. Okay. You tap this one right over here. Almost. You want to try again? Almost. You want to try again? Almost. Give it a nice tap. There you go. You want to push the blue button? There you go. You're so good at this game. Yeah, you did it. Good job. All the buttons are pushed. I'm going again. You want to do it again? Yes. Yeah. You and every other governor wants to craft more. You did a good job. First try. That was very good. <laughs> you having a nice day? Yeah? Mimi's here. Mimi's here? Yes. Yes. Papa here? Yes. Yeah. What'd you do this morning? Listen to songs. Oh, you listened to songs this morning? Yeah. Yeah? Which song did you listen to? The Wheels on the Bus. Oh, The Wheels on the Bus. That's a lovely song. What's on the computer? Yeah, that's you on the computer. <laughs> I push the blue button? Uh, I don't think there's any more blue buttons that need pushing. We could do a little look around the map, though. Gonna see if we can find a bunny? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can find a bunny. It might not be the bunny you're thinking of, though. Is there gonna be a bunny at your birthday party? Yeah, a bunny. Okay. Oh my goodness. You look a little mesmerized there. It was on the computer. Yeah, you're on the computer. Back to mama. And it down, down. I guess we didn't find the bunny fast enough, you know? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, did she just proc that? She just proc a special talent on the equipment like one shot NBD? <laughs> Oh my god. Crazy, man. This looks all crazy, too. Woo! Yeah, dude, our allies down south have got some work cut out for them, that's for sure. 556 five, has built out some territory. 93 punched a wall. Or a hole. Wow. Multiple holes through their fort wall. That's interesting. Multiple holes through their fort wall. And in comes 556. Five, All right. She honestly needs to craft every legendary equipment from here on out. You know, not a bad idea. Al Salami Kong? Wait a minute. Oh, there's the there's the bunny. 
Ark, thank you for the super chat. Started watching you when she was born and now she's so big and talenting equipment for you. Crazy how time flies. Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, I brought her on stream as just like a little kiddo and now she's talenting my equipment, man. Crazy. <laughs> uh, God, we found the bunny. Oh yeah, that's funny. Please relax. This is just a game. Try to remember. True. True. What legendary commander should I invest in or expertise as an infantry player? I'll tell you the last pieces to do. The last pieces to do are the legs. Epic legs, stay there. I think the weapon is one of the last pieces I'd recommend doing. That's what I just did. Uh, I could have done Hope Cloak first, but I wanted the set bonus. So I went for the set bonus. Part of the reason I did that is that I was planning on making two two-piece sets. But once I talented the boots infantry, I was like, ooh, okay. Now now I'm going to lock myself in to a, a complete set, I think. And by complete set, I mean just four pieces. I'm, I don't know. So who's fighting? TR. 55693 in this zone. And it's not TR, sorry, I should say 254. Right? Over here, this zone was free, but 664 is still holding on in this part of the zone. And both. 254 and 60, 64 have kind of pushed in. I do wonder if we shouldn't have done a similar style pass defense with forts. Maybe we should have. Maybe we should have. I don't know. I don't know. But I do feel like we did a really good job draining... 846, a lot, man. I feel like we drained them a lot. A lot of troops. Maybe not resources. Because, I mean, I didn't even do all that much field fighting in the grand scheme of how much I would expect to be doing. Because they just have such high numbers. Like, it's just pointless to fight them in the field. No one takes fights when you're 2-1 to one outnumbered. It just doesn't make sense, does it? God, look at these single rallies. I would kill to take single rallies. We'll see. I mean, you know, 846 has been saying they weren't really drained at all. But at the same time, they also weren't filling their triple rallies. They kept canceling them. So maybe that's... I, I don't know. It's hard for me as an outsider to 846 to assess how drained they are or aren't. Right? K-75 performed much better than I thought. Yeah, I mean... What Ruz was saying earlier, and I, I, got, I need to go get the real data to understand this, but what, what Ruz was telling me earlier is that 846 has 170 more T5 players than we do. I mean, like, that is a KVK Alliance-sized amount of E5 players more than we do? Is is that... I think that's not wrong. Feels like it's accurate. Sean, it's been an epic KVK so far. Yeah, man. So I feel like we did pretty good against those numbers, right? I, see, I cross my arms and I get defensive as I say that. I feel like we did pretty good against those numbers. I don't know. Should I go for Bacall if I won't be a rally leader? I have Herald. I think Bacall is pretty reasonable. 
I had fun playing Pakal Herald. I don't think it's a meta field march, but I do think it's the meta annoying march. Wiz, thank you for the super. All the 1075 are the best. Salute from 875. Hey, cheers. Yeah, Star Star 75 are the best. Cheers to you in 1875. Trolls will be trolls. I missed the part about trolling. I, I've been trolling. So it looks like in this part of the map... I thought they had flags down. I'm confused. What happened to the flags they had down? Didn't 846 have flags down? Like, not long ago at all? I guess they're just all focused over here now, which makes sense. Because they got some flags down over here, like legit flags moving in here. Huh. I don't know. All I want to say is where are those cheeseburgers at? They need some cheeseburgers popping out over here. Serve them up. 474. You got to serve up those cheeseburgers. You can't let them stand there. Where's the cheeseburgers, man? I mean, who would I target? Lord Dunn's has good marches. I, I, it's not a good target. Nope, there it is. Tyrese Mini. See, oh, they're filling with farms. Tyrese Mini is a good target in all this. I would be cheeseburgering that. I kind of miss cheeseburgering already. It just felt like such a productive use of idle time. Zan, thank you for the super chat. 56 push fast. They got pushed back even faster. I mean, yeah, 56 is making moves right now. They're making moves right now, man. What's going on by 56 side? What's going on here? Is there any anything disruptive I could do? Is there anybody just sort of kind of chilling out with their marches that shouldn't be? They got a little bit of presence over here, not a ton. Did I miss anything? You guys find any fun? Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm kind of looking around to see, like, is there anywhere they're just kind of running around the field? What about, um... I assume the MR fort's rebuilding. That's good. And NL's rebuilding a fort. That's good. I guess once that happens, we can be back in business over here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's still the North Fort, which is already burning. So, okay. Yeah. Um, have you done, like, a little scan for some off-territory cities? You never know. Might find something juicy. Bingo. That's what I was thinking. Do they still have a lot of marches at the altar? Which is kind of hilarious. I, last I looked, they did. Oh no, they're all gone! At the ancient ruins, they're all gone. Maybe somebody got to them already, or they took them all home. It's, like, shockingly empty, though, which makes me think somebody got to them first. Yeah. Dude, I've just been ignoring the altar on my restart account. It's kind of awkward. 
Like, I got too much stuff to keep track of. Unless somebody gives me, like, a special invitation. Um, I don't know. Yeah. There's so much going on in this KVK. Like, I can't pay attention to all the things on all the accounts. But I moved myself to a farm alliance in that, um... So I'm not... It's not like I'm messing anything up, I think. Yeah. It's not like I'm messing up an honor game. I think most of these guys that I'm finding are all on territory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. There's still a shocking number of people with gathering marches out. So at this point, it's guerrilla warfare, huh? Dude, chat, do my live stream chat is giving us city locations. That's OP. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's already zeroed. That one's already zeroed. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, yeah. Dude, that, dude, that's so OP if live stream chat just starts feeding us city locations. Oh my god. But at some point, you gotta worry about getting trolled, right? By like someone who wants to get their city rallied. I think most of their players also have like ported to other places for sure. Yeah, I think the majority of the action is down here on the TR front, where I think, I guess they're going to be defending forts here pretty soon. I mean, I think we would have had a lot of fun fighting a fresh 5-5-6. Five, five, like, if we were fresh and they were fresh, I think that would have been a very interesting fight. I feel like we would have done to 5-5-6 five, five, what 8-46 did to us, just using our overwhelming numbers to maneuver on the map where we wanted to go. But I could be wrong on that. Right? Like, we'll see how it goes down here. For our allies. I have a lot of faith in TR to step step up to the plate and 254. I gotta stop saying TR. I just think of TR as like the face of the kingdom, but that's like not the right way to think about it. Ethelflood primary with Bybar's secondary full calves is usable. I mean I would do Ethelflood with mixed troops personally. And if you're going to do full calves, I mean, you may as well have bay bars as the primary, I guess. Christmas came early for 75. Oh, in what way? In what way? Um, you should have gone 556 five, side instead of 846. I don't think so. Um, hold on. I dropped my wedding ring, which I was fidgeting with. All right to get that back on so i mean i i don't think we should have gone five five six side first because i don't think we could have fought five five six and, he, and even if we did win which i think we would have but that's near the neither here nor there but let's assume we did win like we were gonna fight a fresh 846 
after fighting 556? Five, five, forget it, right? Like, I just forget about it. So, I think we took the right approach. Bow is a mega whale? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. Bunch of Amana Tories running around the field here. Because I garrisoned with Amana Tori, I generally have my gear on Artemisia. Right? And so I ran Artemisia Amana Tori, which was a combo I was pretty happy with. Um, so a suggestion that my kingdom has a lot of casual fighters. I think we'll look at the stats to see. I think we have a lot of free to play. I think we have a lot of low spenders, very low spenders. But I don't know that they were casual. Do you know what I mean? Like there's definitely a distinction here. I have not been using Tommy because we've been outnumbered. If you're outnumbered in the field, I don't like Tommy as a choice, actually. I've been using Ramses because they focus my Nebu so much that I just needed the tankiness that Ramses brings. So I have not been... And, and, I, and I think if I were in their position, I would be using, like, every glass cannon archer commander I possibly could. And just load up the damage because they outnumbered us by so much that they could do a lot of work that way. Two fifty four will hold quite a long time. I suspect they will. Yeah, I suspect that's true. Oh, that's a red line. Oh, sad nose, sad face. Red line, sad face. Bunny, Al Salami Kong. Bunny's bot? Nice. Bunny bot. Dear, dear God. 245 million power with 8 million kill points. Okay. Okay. Good God, man. It's definitely interesting to see how these guys fight. Just getting a look at all these... Do you think they like the 5% uh, skill damage skin? Also, uh, Redline's childhood picture over there. That's funny. Yeah, Bunny Bot is the old Death Squad account. I think you're right. I think you are correct. I think we're all hoping the PC version is going to be really good. No matter what the fighters say, they have to admit that 254 is an insane fighting kingdom. Sounds right, yeah. You know, the, the secret strategy to get 93 to lose their forts, to destroy their forts, was actually just to wait for 556 five, to come in, and then they're just deleted for free. Just delete them for free. I mean, that wasn't actually the strategy, to the best of my knowledge, but I think that is kind of funny. Just, uh, you know, wait for 56, and then they just get deleted. Why fight against the forts when they'll just get deleted? How do you suggest to manage equipment as a low spender? Getting an expertise set for every troop type or focus on only one? Um, I... Hmm. I like to focus personally. So get one solid march i'm not talking about all legendaries but get one march to a pretty good place then get a second march to a pretty good place then get a third march and then circle back when you've hit the number of marches you think you can fight with sustainably in the open field for a kvk without running yourself out of resources and improve the equipment you see what i mean like on my restart project i can only sustain three marches so i have three sets of gear if I had more marches, I mean, uh, 
I'd be punchier, but I burn through my resources really, really fast, which uh, would maybe be better, but I've got like three really, really good marches, like really good. And I should work on a fourth or a fifth to compliment, but I don't know. For now, I'm sticking to the like, some, like three badass marches. Um, I think this is kind of an interesting question. I, th I think they're being genuine, not trolling. Does losing a couple KVKs and not doing so... Well, so... I actually feel like... Okay, so... Let me read the question. And let me respond. After. Does losing a couple KVKs and not doing well so far in this KVK lessen your interest to play Rock? So I actually... Need to break this down into two parts. The first part, doing well so far in this KVK. We crushed it this KVK. We dramatically exceeded, I think, everybody's expectations. Battling against... What I think has to be the strongest kingdom in the game, both by power, they were one or two, and by volume of players. So I think morale is probably unusually high right now because like, dude, we just fought a vastly stronger opponent and did, did work. Because we looked at our trades and like, I know you don't see our side of the battle reports, but like we add up the deaths from AOE, man. We count it all together and we're like, yep, traded positive. Not on, not every report, but like we felt very good about our defense doing exactly what it was designed to do above and beyond the amount of time we expected to even be in the zone. So that part, I, I, I just want to like, like we, we, I think, are extremely happy with our performance. We are extremely happy with Kingdom's participation in the KVK, and I can't wait to see the data to see, like, did everybody show up, or who are we asking to leave the Kingdom, right? Oh, see, now that's a little bit of a rip. There's always somebody who doesn't get out of the fort when, it, when there's not supposed to be anyone in it. But if there were a captain nearby, man, you would want them to just get in right now and you'd promote them and stuff that thing full of troops. That's a that's a little bit of a rip right there, for sure. Oh wow, they stopped swarming at it. I mean they had that thing. Someone else fresh swarms it now. Um, so on the topic of losing the last two KVKs. I mean, losing the one against 122, where they 3,000% stack the deck, 3,000. Maybe I shouldn't use any percentages. Where they stack the deck so it was unwinnable. I mean, that to me was fine because we performed, baby. Like, we were fighting two war camps and beating them because they were drained, which is a part of the reason we understand the value of draining another war camp, okay? So just setting that idea aside for a second. So we actually felt really good about that KVK. Like our last KVK, we felt great. Or, well, no, let me say that again. Our last Strife KVK, we felt really great. Our last KVK, I feel, was a bit disappointing, though. Because I feel like as a kingdom, we had a lot of people not show up that needed to until it was like way too late and didn't matter anymore. And we kicked a lot of people out of the kingdom. We made a lot of people delete troops if they wanted to stay. I mean, we had a big GTFO moment with a lot of players. It would, that, that to me, coming off of the Strife KVK, where like we kicked butt two war camps versus one into one where we were fighting kingdoms that like I didn't know who they were beforehand. No offense to them, but like I didn't know them. Um, and a part of that's because like I don't keep I don't keep up with like the I don't keep up with the news in, in the real world, and I certainly don't keep up with news in the game world either. So like I don't know about other kingdoms really. Not like I should. So you know, losing to kingdoms that we hadn't heard of before, that kind of sucked. Mostly because we did not have the turnout that we felt like we should have had in my opinion right like not because we we felt like we they were unbeatable to us but because like i don't know where everybody is but they weren't showing up that was disappointing um but we came off of that 
with an insane migration, somehow, uh, and reshaped the kingdom to what it is today, which I think is very strong. So, I would say that aspect of our last loss was disappointing, but I think we have nothing to be disappointed about in how we performed this KVK. 939 was a disaster of an ally. You are not wrong. But I feel like we should have been able to fully carry that KVK, and, like, we just didn't have the people show up. That was just, that, that aspect was disappointing to me. Big migration after this KVK? Dude, we have to be so far out of Imperium, and we're not even done fighting yet, so... Yeah, I think we'll have a big migration in. In my perfect world... What, what I think we actually need in this kingdom is more players that are experienced at kingdom leadership. So in my perfect world, after this KVK ends, or even really before this KVK ends, we find a group of players that are experienced in kingdom leadership, and they come in and they help run the kingdom and help do all of the KVK preparation, like map making and testing and all these things that like, yeah, we do all of these things. But, like, I feel like we just need more people that are very good at doing that stuff to alleviate the burden so that the, the people who do those things don't burn out. Nine three nine was my kingdom's ally in the previous KVK to yours, Chiskul, and they gave up pretty quickly. Yeah. Did they cancel that rally? That's interesting. No, it's burning. Yeah, no, I mean, I w we would take a full alliance. We would take, like, a good chunk of a kingdom. Like, I think the best play for us going into our next KVK between now and then is picking up, like, a full alliance plus leadership team. That, that I think, is what we need. Um, because I think I would like for us to have more people around the clock who can help make great decisions about what to do in KVK. If you need a title giver, I'm your man. I mean, we're always open to getting more title givers, but we do have a really robust title giver rotation. Right? So, like... You know, I think I think Ruz talked about this on stream earlier. You know, but like six three six was kind of I think toying with the idea of going somewhere, and it's like, dude, you put if you put six three six into our kingdom, it would be pretty busted. Like it would be pretty busted, right? Like we've got a good top end, and we've got a huge free to play base. And I think if you put, like, another top-end alliance in there that really can lead, I think it'd be pretty sick, man. And I will say, um, after I address the super chat, I'll, I'll add something in here. As an A-Seed Kingdom, 1994, it was an honor to fight against 1075 in our last KVK. Best of luck in this KVK. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, you guys kicked your butts. It was like, kind of no way around it. You, you oh, completely overwhelmed us in the field. It was shocking and very effective. Appreciate the super chat. No, oh, I mean they 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 did they did the work, man. They did the work. Um so what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So a long time ago. I want to say, like, after KVK Season 4, maybe maybe KVK Season 5, I said that I really wanted us to get to seven war alliances in our kingdom by KVK 7. And we never did that. And, and I, I, honestly, of all the ac activities that I was doing as a leader, I actually think I should have just literally every other activity said, F it, I don't want to talk about it, and said just... The only thing I should have been saying is, how are we getting to seven alliances? How are we getting to seven alliances? How are we getting to seven alliances? You want to talk about what? Anything? Don't give an F. 
how are we getting to seven alliances? I think that to me in hindsight is obvious because if you look at 846, they just have more alliances. They got more players. So I think my instinct was right. And I think my focus was off. Because even though we're up to like six alliances, I mean, F it, let's get, not, let's get to nine alliances. Let's get to 10 alliances. I don't care. Right? Like whatever, whatever you think is the thing you need to be talking about between KVKs, it isn't. You're wrong. It's bringing more players to your kingdom. That's the only thing that matters, I think. That, that's my takeaway. Right? Like I had the right vision and did not, did not get the execution. That's not to say we didn't have crazy good migrations. That's not to say we didn't have great migrations. But what I'm suggesting is we uh, we should have hunted for a no BS, don't give an F, no excuses, get the bodies. Do everything humanly, physically possible to put all focus toward getting the bodies. See what I mean? See what I mean? All the mapping and strategy and it's all made quite irrelevant if you just have more bodies. It's not to say that more body like like strategies totally irrelevant. But like if you have enough bodies, there's a lot of problems that but no longer are a problem because you just have so many damn bodies. Yeah, no, they need to be active. 100%, Adam. I am talking about active players. 100%, you're right. 100%. And we're already a huge kingdom. Like, six alliances is pretty big. 1075 and 916 merge. <laughs> uh, I mean, experienced leadership teams. That's what I think would, would help. Right? More people to share the leadership burden along with those bodies. That's what that's what I want to hunt for. So you know, if you know a kingdom that is interested in that. In mapping, no one comes uh, comes close to ninety three. If you know, then you know. You know that's probably true. That ninety three has some of the better mappers, and I feel like. We might have reached out to some of the players of 93 at one point in the recruiting process to be like, come on over. But I don't think that ever really came to fruition. But I do think that was a conversation that happened at one point, actually. I don't know how far that conversation went. That's more like a Rez Cortex question, you know? They do the migration stuff. 93 is the best mappers. Don't tell me you're one of the mappers, Cabo. Don't tell me you're one of the mappers. Are you one of the mappers? Dude, you do need to look out, though. There's three marches killing a barb right next to that fort. They might swarm your rally. <laughs> I don't know if you can make it. Yeah. Y you'll port over to take care of that? Okay, cool. Let me know if you need my farm to port over to fill. Anyways, was that, how, how was that for an explanation? Kind of a longer explanation. So like losing when you're expected to lose, but actually kicking a lot of butt along the way, that did not feel bad at all. That felt great actually. Would prefer to win, but like, eh, that was not winnable. So in the grand scheme of things, the best victory we could get was kicking butt against two war camps. So we did. Um, in the in the last KVK, 
losing when you're expected to win feels much worse. Right? And I imagine, I imagine, maybe, I don't know, but I imagine maybe there's a little bit of frustration from some of the folks in 846 because they were like expecting to clear us out a lot sooner. In fact, weren't they genuinely expecting to be able to go both ways at the same time? You know? So I don't know. I mean, maybe that, maybe this was exactly what they expected and it would take as long as they did to knock us out of this zone, but... It's all about expectations. And so from an expectation standpoint, we feel like we did pretty good in this zone. Is this KVK ended? Not even close, man. Not even close. Any big plans for Thanksgiving? Um, not really, just seeing family. No way. No way. This guy just burned his own fort. This guy just burned his own fort. All right, well, problem solved. It was empty and they burned it themselves. Friendly, a little bit of friendly fire. Um, The difference between rallying and swarming. Rallying is where you set a rally, right? Like set rally. Troops go to your city, they fill the rally, then it launches, they all go together. Swarming is where you take individual marches and you have them all hit the target. Criteria to join 75? I'll drop it in the chat. It'll be a Discord server. KVK is not over for us, but we're pinned into the starting zone. That's definitely true. Will Negan ever come back? Hard to say. I assume not. We might get him on stream at some point, though. Do we accept single mid spenders? Sure. Sure. I mean, I'm going to make a dad joke, but like single and not married means you must have plenty of time to play the game. But joking aside, you don't need to be in a group. I told you I'm going to make a dad joke. You don't need to be in a group to join the kingdom. No. And we'll definitely be looking to rebuild. 100%. I feel like there's a lot of what we did went really well. And again, I think our biggest growth opportunity is bringing in in addition to a bunch of individual players, like an experienced large kingdom leadership team with their players. Um, we're too choosy? I don't think so. Not in the slightest. We're we are extremely choosy. But I would not say that's a bad thing based on the nature of how Imperium works. No, I mean, if you're not choosy about your migrants, it goes sideways real fast, man. We definitely need... Dude, a kingdom... I hate to say it, but like... What is the true meta for Rise of Kingdoms? More players. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. More players that actually contribute? Let me say it that way. Maybe that's the way it needs to be said. Yeah, more quality players, I think is a fair correction to my statement. True, true. More forts. Yeah, more forts. Here we go again. Dude, look at this mess. What is going on here? I'm a little jealous of all this field fighting they get to do.
I mean, there's some... There's some big accounts floating around over here. That's the actual Al Sidani Kong. 605 million power. Although less kill points than me, but also a younger account. I don't know how many kills I have this KVK. I mean, at least a billion kill points. At least a billion. I don't think a kingdom is allowed only a certain number of governors. Al Salami is better than Al Sidani. I mean, <laughs> Salami Kong. Oh God! Oh, there's Al Salami Kong. Please tell me he's being chased by Al Sidani Kong, because that would just be special. Doesn't look like it. Wait. He is! Al Salami Kong is being... Wait. That's Al Sidani Kong. Where did Al Salami Kong go? I could have swore I saw Salami a second ago. Maybe I misread. Yep. Al Salami Kong is getting chased. By Al Sidani Kong? I can't handle what's happening right now. I also can't find them both on the same, at the same time. There he is. There's Al Sidani, and that was Al Salami. Um. I don't think we would want to be... So it's an interesting suggestion to try to be a smaller kingdom and fight smaller kingdoms. I don't think we would ever want to do that, though. I don't think any of us would ever want to move away from the kind of energy you get from a KVK this big. I think once you play in a KVK this big... Like, I know people get bored of the game. And I think it's because they're not doing what we just did in this kvk like if you get bored playing rise of kingdoms you're not playing big kvks I, I i think has to be like if if you play these big kvks and you hunt hard fights instead of like just taking easy ones if you just take easy kvks i can see how you'd get bored 100 percent. i can see how people will get bored they kind of move on because it's just whatever but a big KVK like this, where everybody's out for blood, it's freaking awesome, man. It is 100% more fun. Not even the same universe. It, it just, I don't, I don't know how you get bored when you have KVKs like this. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's nice to win. I hope we win this KVK. I, I hope we win this KVK. Right? Like, I've personally put a lot of troops committed to that task. Plus five plus million on my restart spe or, uh, farm, speaking of which. Um, hey guys, do we have a training room? Because at this point, I think we should fire up Duke and just get the Kingdom Training buff going. We specifically held off from using the, the buff, yeah. Ten percenter? Well, it's better than nothing. How long does it have on it? Only an hour? Uh, do we have another one? Mm, it's at the camp on the right. That's a little disappointing if we don't have another one. With more duration on it. Yeah, it's actually pretty disappointing. 
Because I want to do a training buff. And we should do it, like, right now. That's, like, really not enough time to properly capitalize on that. I, I mean, I think we should have fired it however many hours ago. Yep. Yep. Like I said, more leadership. Not that we don't have lots of leadership, but, like, people get burned out after 10 days of fighting. And so, like, we just lost sight of when we wanted to do our buff today. Which is a mini rep. This is a mini rep. Al Salami is like, uh, what was it, like 88 million power? Under 20 million power? What's going on over here? These guys are running around the field, but they do have territory. They're not burning this stuff right now. Oh, this one's burning. I mean, the beauty of forts is uh, takes a long time to burn one of those. I mean... After doing double and triple rallies in our forts, they can't be terror and, and trading not positive when you factor in AOE deaths. They've got to be not too excited about single rallying now. Liam, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Chisco, I hope you're good. Uh, good effort for this KVK. Will you ever disclose what happened with Negan? Lots of people want to know. Probably at some point, yeah. What's the event time horizon right now? You know, only three hours left. I mean, I would do this. I mean, I would probably train on my main, actually. El Toad the Frog. Thank you for the super chat. Question about the most tacos I've ever eaten in one sitting. Uh, I guess just three. It's not too over the top, is it? Why don't you burn farmers and be another category? Yeah, I don't think... We'll see what our data poll says, but we should not have a lot of farmers left in our kingdom. How many troops do I even have left? Not enough archers. To be honest. I need to spam train some archers. Which is why I'm kind of like... 
training buff anyways right now? I mean, I could theoretically jump back to Home Kingdom. Right? And check the Lost Temple? Would that be reasonable? That I feel like that would be reasonable. We could just get a quick look. Yeah, do a training buff. Feels like a waste to not do a training buff. I mean, we should have done some sort of buff if we don't do training. Let's see here. Pop a few buffs on the topic of buffs. Always keep your resource buffs running. How many gold chests does SW get per day in the offseason? I mean, it depends on events. When there's events, it's kind of a lot. Obviously, we're gift level 40 and climbing, so... It's pretty sizable. Which allows me to do some really crazy stuff on my farm. Somebody's hitting the Guardians back here. I don't know who's back in Home Kingdom to do it. But I guess not all the Guardians. Some have despawned. Huh. Let's see who's got the King title real quick. Message Dave, who's got the king title right now. Okay, I think we're going to do the buff. Fire it up. Okay, there we go. 
I'm gonna train on my farm for sure. I just went to the wrong. Where am I even going? I gotta go over here. I gotta go get a rune. How many gold keys do I have? I don't know, over a thousand. Over a thousand. Let's, uh. Bring this home. Where do I live? In Cheeseburger Paradise. I joked about that on stream, man. How do you get them to delete their forts? Just wait for 556 to come on in. Free. They're all just deleted. Just chat with some folks. Also, I should pass King back. Um, no, I am not Canadian. What makes you think I'm Canadian? Out of curiosity. Out of curiosity. Gatherers go out. I guess I gotta gather stone right now. Not happy about it. Okay. I do not know that player from 88. The way I say out, I have a Canadian accent? Really? I do? I feel like I said it extra Canadian just then. What's happening right now? What's happening right now? I'm gonna go get this rune. And I think I'm just gonna use extenders and train a bunch of archers. Is the play. Let's get some resources open here. It's been kind of a pain in the butt fighting without a bunch of open resources and constantly using tokens. Crank that up real quick. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Careful with those tokens, just cool. Holy moly. Use up some of these. Ooh. Kind of fly through the gold. Not gonna lie. Get this marked. So, how many archers can I train? I need to do... Not very many. It's just like two extenders worth. Right? And that'll get the job done and I'll get some free, free speed ups out of the deal. I gotta play all these little events here. 
Just well, you're broke, dude. I got a lot of resources. Are you kidding me? That that's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. I mean, you just saw my resources. I think I have over thirty billion resources still, so <laughs> I feel okay. Right? I'm probably pretty okay. That was a joke that I was broke, right? That, that was a joke, right? I don't think you're joking. This is interesting. I mean, not 30 billion gold, obviously. But when you factor up all my tokens of all my different resource types, I'm doing okay. The tokens don't look that way. <laughs> I guess you should have just gone with I'm broke. Ah, I'm just broke. Go fight, newbie. Lol. Plus, I have tokens on my farm. So, please tell me why Pakal is annoying. It's hard to... It's hard to trade positive. But tokens only exist to look at, not actually use. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, what the heck? What a question. I'm stuck. I'm in love with my... cut. Okay, I'm not just going to read this all out loud, but it's very funny. Do you think I should expertise XY and 5551 William? Um, yeah, I think that's a great march, but people are going to focus it. So you're going to have to play very carefully with that. Let's see here. We actually have a title giver running? God, I love it, man. All right, my friends, here's what I need to do. I gotta go hang out with my little kiddo and get a little bit of rest before dinner. I got some family in town. I gotta go see them. If you enjoyed the stream, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. I'm just gonna pop some extenders and do a little bit of training. Not that much. Um, and I will be back tomorrow with a video about who the hell knows what. Maybe we'll be fighting. Maybe we'll just have an opportunity to chill for a little bit. Maybe a little bit of both. If you enjoyed the stream, throw a like on here and subscribe. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies. Take care, everyone. I will see you.